लाइफ इज जस्ट लाइक अ केमिकल रिएक्शन देयर आर अटैक्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियोफाइल्स फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट एंड फाइनली द ओल्ड बॉन्ड्स ब्रेक विद द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू बॉन्ड्स हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अर्पिता त्रिपाठी वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू माय चैनल एंड योर वेरी ओन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म द वर्ल्ड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल and keep watching my videos in this module we will come to know about the types of chemical reactions according to the nature of chemical change chemical reactions can be classified into the following types combination or synthesis reaction decomposition reaction displacement reaction double displacement reaction which can further be divided into precipitation and neutralization reaction and finally the redox reaction also known as oxidation and reduction reaction so let's discuss about these reactions in details first is combination or synthesis reaction a chemical reaction in which two or more substances combine to form a single substance is called a combination or synthesis reaction and its general representation is a plus b gives ab for example when sodium reacts with chlorine it combines to form sodium chloride now let's see an experiment of combination reaction so for this reaction we require quick lime distilled water beakers spatula glass rod test tube dropper and lime water take a small quantity of quick lime using a spatula and transfer it into the beaker put the thermometer glass rod and then slowly add distilled water so that quick lime remains submerged into the water quick lime reacts vigorously with water to produce a suspension of slaked lime releasing a large amount of heat leave the beaker undisturbed for some time a clear solution of lime water appears as the suspension of slaked lime settles down take a small quantity of lime water using a dropper and transfer it into a test tube then cover the mouth of the test tube with a cork and insert a glass tube through the hole in a cork to the test tube after that blow the exhaled air into the test tube through the glass tube on blowing exhaled air which contains a sufficient of carbon dioxide it turns the lime water milky so in this reaction quick lime and water combines to form a single product called slaked lime that is calcium hydroxide so it is a combination reaction second type of reaction is decomposition reaction a chemical reaction in which a compound splits or breaks into two or more simpler substances is called a decomposition reaction it is just the opposite of combination reaction and its general general representation is ab gives a plus b 
For example, copper carbonate on heating it produces copper oxide and liberates carbon dioxide gas. As we already know, a single substance or compound breaks up to form two simple substances is decomposition reaction. So, the decomposition reaction generally takes place when energy in some form such as heat, electricity or light is supplied to the reactants. Calcium carbonate when heated gives calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. So decomposition of a substance by heating is called thermal decomposition. Next is electrolysis. The decomposition of a substance by passing electric current through it is known as electrolysis or electrolytic decomposition. For example, sodium chloride on passing electric current gives sodium and chlorine gas. The decomposition of a compound with light is called photolysis or photolytic decomposition. Let's see the decomposition of silver chloride. Take about 2 grams of silver chloride in a china dish. Place this dish in the sunlight for some time. It is observed that the white silver chloride turns grey on exposure to sunlight. So silver chloride on exposure to sunlight produces silver and chlorine gas. Similarly, silver bromide also undergoes decomposition when exposed to light and produces silver and bromine gas. Next reaction is displacement reaction. A chemical reaction in which an element takes the place of another element in a compound is called displacement reaction. Basically here a more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal from its compound. Generally it is represented by AB plus C gives CB plus A. Displacement reaction can be further divided into two named as single displacement reaction and double displacement reaction which can be further divided into precipitation reaction and neutralization reaction. So single displacement reaction its general representation is AB plus C gives CB plus A. For example, iron when reacts with copper sulfate, it produces copper and iron sulfate. Now let's see the experiment. In this experiment, we will require copper sulfate, iron nails, distilled water, a beaker, measuring jar, test tubes, two clamp stands, a piece of thread and a glass rod. Take sufficient quantity of distilled water in a measuring cylinder and pour it into a clean beaker. To this add a required quantity of copper sulphate. Stir the contents of a beaker using a glass rod until the copper sulphate crystals in the beaker dissolves completely. Pour sufficient quantity of copper sulphate into a test tube. Clamp the test tube to a stand. Then again pour sufficient quantity of copper sulphate into another test tube and clamp it to another stand. Take two iron nails. Clean these by rubbing them with sandpaper so the color appears grayish. Tie one nail with a thread 
and immerse this into one of the test tubes containing copper sulfate solution keep the test tubes undisturbed for about 15 minutes after 15 minutes color of copper sulfate solution containing the iron nail turns light greenish color while the color of the solution in other test tube remains same the greenish color of the solution is due to the presence of fe2 plus ions remove the iron nail from the solution compare it with the other nail there is a brown coating of copper on the nail that was dipped in the copper sulfate solution the other nail retains its grayish color in this reaction the ferrous iron displaces copper ions from the solution so the reaction is a simple displacement reaction next is double displacement reaction a chemical reaction in which two compounds react by exchange of ions to form two new compounds is called a double displacement reaction the general representation is ab plus cd gives ad plus cb for example sodium hydroxide when reacts with copper sulfate it gives rise to copper hydroxide and sodium sulfate as double displacement reaction is of two types so the first is precipitation reaction it is a chemical reaction in which an insoluble solid called precipitate separates from the solution here in this example we can see when sodium chloride is added to silver nitrate a white precipitate of silver chloride is formed next is neutralization reaction a chemical reaction in which an acid reacts with a base to form salt and water is called a neutralization reaction for example hydrochloric acid when reacts with sodium hydroxide it produces water and sodium chloride salt let's see the reaction as we know the reaction in which two compounds react to form different compounds by mutual exchange of ions is called double displacement reaction such reactions are also known as metathesis reaction there are two common types of double displacement reaction one is precipitation reaction and other is neutralization reaction let's see it precipitation reaction an aqueous solution of two salts are mixed whereby some salt precipitates due to mutual exchange of ions between the two salts for example barium chloride solution when mixed with sodium sulfate solution yields a white precipitate of barium sulfate and sodium chloride next is neutralization reaction when an acid is mixed with base we get salt plus water this is neutralization reaction for example sodium hydroxide when reacts with hydrochloric acid sodium chloride salt is formed along with water
hope this video is useful for you all thanks for watching and have a great day ahead